Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another uh, get ready with me makeup tutorial and today I'm using the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette that I just got in the mail. I'm super excited about it. So the first color that I'm going to be um, going in with is the Burkina color which is like a chocolatey kind of color and I'm just putting that all over my lids as kind of like a base. Um, I forgot to put on eyeshadow primer because uh, I just couldn't get my life together today, but we're just going to roll with it and see what happens. <laughs> So now I'm going to um, go ahead and go in with this like magenta color called Zobo and I'm just going to layer that on top of the chocolate color and kind of drag it outwards. Um, the purpose of this is to kind of create more of like a cat-like eye and it looks kind of crazy right now, I know, but it's going to come together in the end, like you'll, you'll get it. Like now you're like, what the hell is this girl doing? She's always looking crazy doing her eyeshadow, but I promise you it like it has a point. I have a point. I'm gonna make it here soon. So now I'm gonna go in with Bori, which is like this gorgeous pink, hot pink shimmery color, and then just put that all over my lid. Don't worry about getting eyeshadow all over your face because we have concealer and we're gonna fix it later, so it's gonna be fine. And then on top of that, I'm going to layer um, Casablanca, which is like this super, super highly pigmented gold. And it's gorgeous. A little goes a long way. Um, but it's just, I love this um, color because I feel like it just makes everything amazing and flawless. And that's what we're going for. So I know you guys probably noticed by now that I, there's a lot of like finger blending in this video. Y'all I love to use my fingers to blend stuff out because sometimes I don't want to like create a really harsh line. Sometimes I kind of want color to transition like I don't know more like abstractly. I know that sounds crazy but that's the reason why I'm using my fingers because I want to have more control over blending and I don't want to like have lines of demarcation on my eyelid. I, what the heck am I looking for? Oh, y'all, that's the downside. Though, using my fingers, I always have to have like a towel or something nearby because my fingers look like I've been color painting, y'all, and so does my face right now. But it's okay, we go fix it, it's gonna be all right. So now it's finally time to conceal all that craziness, get all that eyeshadow like kind of under control because it's all over my face and under my lid. So I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal um, Concealer in the color Creamy Beige. And I'm just going to apply that underneath my eye. Y'all, I'm watching Scandal right now because I had to catch up because I didn't watch it last night because one of my raggedy friends decided that me watching Shondaland last night wasn't that important to her. So y'all, I have to catch up because I can't be missing my Shonda. So this is kind of where like my makeup philosophy comes into play where I feel like I don't care about the mess on my face until I put my foundation on because anything, any mess that I make on my face from my eyeshadow, I'm just going to clean it up with the concealer anyway and I'm going to refine the edges. If I want them to be sharp, if I want them to look more winged, I can do that with the concealer instead of sitting there fumbling with a brush trying to make sure I get it right because I'm a beginner too. <laughs> Then 
there to um, just above my cheekbone or right on my cheekbone. I'm using the Becca highlighter in Opal. I wanted it in Champagne Pop because I wanted to be cheesy, but y'all sold it out everywhere. I couldn't get it anywhere, so I had to settle for Opal. And I'm not doing lashes today because I just got contacts for the first time, yay! And I just like, I was so afraid of getting something in my eye. I know that sounds ridiculous to anybody who's ever worn contacts before, but I have been eye shy all day. I don't know why I was showing this to you guys because my camera is definitely mirrored so it's not like you I mean you could read it but it would take a little bit more effort than you would probably want it to but um, now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my um, liquid matte um, lipstick from Colourpop and it is in the color Limbo And this is the final look. So, <laughs> that sounded so fake. Oh my God. This is the final look. <laughs> and yeah. So if you guys like this video, you want more get ready with me slash makeup tutorial slash incredible voiceovers by yours truly, um, go ahead and drop a comment down below. Let me know um, what you'd like to see next, what kind of videos you guys uh, like the best. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can be updated when I beat this face again on camera. That sounded... Ugh.